Hey there, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about Guild Wars 2 release notes that were put out on April 19th. These are for some game updates and changes that they've made. There are a ton of, of things to go through. So we're going to do two videos. One's going to be PvE and general game um, related notes. And then the other video is going to be more PvP, World v. World kind of uh, things going on here. Now, I'm going to be skimming over just main topics and some points within each topic. And then there's uh, there's a lot more detail and stuff like that to be seen. So I'm going to leave a link to the notes in the description to where they post all of the bug fixes and all that and everything that I'm not going to go over. Um, also, I'm not going to go over into fine detail on each topic unless there's something that I find really interesting that needs to be um, discussed a whole lot more. So please do go read the patch notes if there's something you don't understand or something you want to know more about. Okay, to start off with, we're going to talk about the Heart of Maguma, uh, rewards and EXP. So pretty much they've increased everything, like your kill experience, your the currency that's dropped, the rewards in each area, and uh, they've also added a uh, uh, more mastery vendor items, which is kind of interesting. Uh, next would be the Heart of Maguma map changes. So they've actually done quite a few map changes, they, uh, which will include uh, events, waypoints, uh, mob and NPC features, and, and a whole lot more. So they've added events, uh, changed some uh, event things, they've uh, changed waypoints, they've uh, changed spawn times for mobs, they've added NPCs, and and a whole lot of other things uh, through that, so that's going to be interesting uh, for you guys to look at that are interested in, in that. Uh, for dungeons, they've uh, increased all rewards. So all of your drops are going to be increased, all of your gold is, is increased, uh, things like that. They, there is no more daily gold reset, so pretty much you can just go through and get gold for every dungeon that you do. Um, and it's been increased as well, so you're going to be getting a whole lot more gold. Uh, there were a lot more details in in that specific section that I thought were very interesting, um, but I just don't have time to go over all of them. But pretty much, like, you can go through each dungeon path and stuff like that and get your rewards and everything for it. There's no more resets that you have to wait and do. You could pretty much do dungeons on your own time and not have to worry about missing out on on them or anything like that. They've also added achievements as well for uh, certain things that, they, that they've changed within the dungeons, which is kind of awesome uh, that, that I feel that they're taking dungeons in a really good direction. Instead of making it timed and daily and, and things like that to where people have to, to grind a, a certain you know, number of, of days and then they're done with the dungeons and don't have to worry about them anymore, they're kind of moving away from that, which is really good. You can do dungeons at your own time and, and everything, like I said before. So I think that's a really good move. Uh, next, they've made some changes to Fractals of the Mist. Uh, they've added some kind of legendary backpack quest. Uh, I don't personally know what all that's about. I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. That seems kind of interesting. Uh, but they've also made a lot of changes to the tiers. Um, I'm not going to go over those because that, that is a lot of information. But they've uh, made tier changes. Uh, achievement additions and changes, uh, so they, they're adding more achievements and, and changing some uh, some things within there. And they've even updated the UI of the Fractals, the user interface, to make it more friendly and, and cleaner looking. And, uh, and they've added a lot more stuff to that as well, uh, that, that are also things that you guys should go look at. So uh, moving on. They did actually add the legendary short bow. Uh, they said that they were going to cancel all of the new legendaries, except they were going to add the short bow. They added it in in these notes. They've added a legendary journey to go with it. Uh, you know the short bow and all that. Uh, after that, for the uh, Heart of Thorns people, you all get one level eighty boost. Uh, this is only for people that have um, the expansion. Um, it comes, uh, the level 80 boost comes with a, a trial feature, so you can actually try out, um, all of your characters as level 80 before you decide on which one you want to bump, which is really good because you can, you can try all of them. There, there's really no limit to the trial, 
um, as far as I can see, that would be like, uh, you know, really, it's not like really short or anything like that. So it's good. You can, you can do that, but you can only bump one character to level 80, um, which is, is good and interesting. They, they did that because they feel that all of their content that they're uh, producing for Power of Thorns is more geared towards level 80 characters and higher level characters. So they wanted to give everyone a, a free bump, which I think is a really good thing. Uh, most players do have a level 80, at least one level 80 character now, so, you know, I'm not sure, but there have been a lot of new players coming into the game recently, so that that could be good, uh, especially for uh, for those people that want to go through that content, that PvE content. Now, the looking for group feature, they've made some changes to. It now supports uh, groups of more than five, which is really cool. They've added squads to the looking for group, which is very interesting. I think that, that was a, a very good add. They've added new categories and subcategories as well, so it should be easier to find the, the, the group you're looking for, which is a very good change in my opinion. Um, also, with profession skills, they've, uh, they've made some changes. I'll, a few of them I really like. They've uh, updated visual effects um, for a ton of skills. Um, so now you can do things and they, they will look different if things look different don't you know don't freak out the, they've updated all the visual effects and stuff like that not for every single thing but for a lot of things they even have new visual effects settings in the in the graphic settings to where you can um, lower the visual effects from allied skills so that's kind of uh, an interesting setting that they've added they've also added um, ground targeting images specific to your profession so like if you're playing a necromancer it'll be you know the green circle around with the necromancer skull in the center of it the center of it which is really awesome i like it um I, I love it it looks great and they've also made um minor skill adjustments and tweaks in in each profession so there are going to be some things that you know like cooldowns have been changed and and things like that by you know a few seconds not you know, huge drastic changes. There might be like one or two uh, bigger changes, but that's going to be about it, probably. I haven't looked through every single skill change because it, it's a huge list. And they've added uh, a bunch of, you know, bug fixes, a bunch of general, uh, general things at the very bottom of the patch notes, which are um, a lot of reading. And all of that is mostly smaller bug fixes and things like that that really um, aren't worth mentioning. It's not that they're not worth mentioning, really. It's more of, uh, there's so many of them and they're not, like, game-changing that they're just things that uh, might be interesting to know that have been fixed. So there's that. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I might do a, a little discussion on, on some things later, but those are, are some things that you have to look forward to um, with the update that just came out. These are things that are in the game now. Um, they've been updated and everything. I'm going to do the PvP video next. So if you're a PvP fan, that's something to look forward to. Is going to be covering the raids, World of the Worlds, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys stick around and check that video out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.